will be a thorn in our side. Who? What? Hey everybody, Nostalgia Scott coming to you guys with part 2 of Crash Bandicoot Warped, the Insane Trilogy for the Xbox. So, we'll be doing level 6, which is the second of the medieval levels, Gee Whiz. And looks like we got some dog pig thing as the boss. Why? Why must you continue to be a thorn in our side? Who? What? Where was I? Oh, Tiny was a good fellow. He hated everyone and everything, but a good heart nonetheless. Please be more reasonable with my minions next time. Ooh, a nitro switch destroys all the nitro boxes at once. So we have a hundred boxes, that's a lot. Oh yeah, I don't have my Aku Aku anymore. Oh yeah, funny thing is, in this game you actually need this, this super body slime to actually break these crates. Yeah, there's no indicator that like you would have. Because you don't see them until afterward anyway. Oh yeah, Gee Wiz is named after these enemies, the Wizards. Which have a semi-homing attack, which can be pretty annoying and somewhat difficult to dodge if you're not careful. Especially if you're trying to do like the time trials and you're just like rushing through the levels. You know, that, that can be pretty difficult, but overall it's not too bad. Ah, double kill with the frogs, woohoo! Alrighty there. Oh, hang on. Ooh, another life though. What the heck was that game? As if we needed more lives. We have 20. Oh look, 21. Oh look, another enemy died. Yay! That's cool, I guess. And you poor guys, that sword is way too big. Couldn't Cortex have given you a better sword? Or was this like Cortex's ancestor back then? Maybe these aren't even like Cortex's minions. Maybe they're just... Like their past ancestors and they were just really bad back then. Like this is Dweebius Maximus or something. Or Dweebius Minimus or some silly thing like that. Can you die? I guess not. Hey look! We got invincibility, yay! Because for some reason this level gives you a ton of Aku Aku masks. I'm not gonna complain, but it's still really weird, you know? I'm gonna go destroy that nitro crate before we run out. And there we go, now we can go to the bonus. Having Aku Aku in a bonus level though, definitely not recommended. It could cause a lot of serious issues. Oh, this looks challenging to say the minimum. Also, if you die in a mini game though, or a bonus game, pardon me, you actually do lose Aku Aku. Which does really suck. I don't know why they designed it like that, but they just did. And it blows. Chunks. Yeah. Uh huh. I kinda wanna be careful, you know? You never know with my inept skills. There you go, and just hold the jump button so you gain as much height as possible. Because that was scary. And there we go, level done. Or er, level done. Bonus done. You can actually fall off if you keep going over to the edge, so be careful. There's only 14 boxes left, and we know some of them are nitro. I will admit though, these uh, levels are pretty cool. Also, I love how like a lot of the levels, even though they're like the same theme, they take place at different times of the day and have different layouts and stuff like that. I always thought that was a cool little touch. Alright, Mr. Knights. Ah, you died. Oh, come on! That killed him, really? Uh, whatever. There we go. 100%. Outside of the relic. Nice. I'll take it. Now we're going back to the time twister. There we go. Thank you for my crystal and my gem. Very much appreciated, dudes. Yeah. Anyways, now we have Hang 'em High, which we cannot 100%, by the way. Discover and finish the secret route for a special gem, yeah. I don't even... Actually, no. You can get 100... You can get all the boxes here, which I think is like 90-something or 100-something. 96. Okay. 
So yeah, watch out for these guys. They'll cut off your pants if you run into them. That's literally how they kill you. Crash is some of the funniest death animations. And yeah, you'll lose your pants. These guys just kind of follow your movements. They're not really difficult, though. Oh yeah, unlike Wrath of Cortex, guess what? The, cl the climbing speed is actually normal and not horrendously bad. Slide into these enemies if you want an easy kill. Oh yeah, some of those guys are on set patterns, like the um, carpet riders. Like that one. So they're not all gonna follow you. Oh man, I destroyed those boxes all the way over here. That's Also, you can't destroy checkpoints with enemies from far away. Only other boxes. Oh, I gotta get that one. There we go. How many do we have? We have 36, so we're, we're getting a decent chunk. Also, you're super avoidable. Same with you. Half of you enemies aren't very difficult to reach, you know? Thank you for the crystal, and now we got the bonus pathway. Yay! Let's see what we got. And there we go, we'll do that, and then we can grab these. And how many of these metal crates are they gonna do? Yeah, we actually got the one up by body slamming, and we only need five more boxes, really? Oh, this one. There we go. And it should activate a little jumpy platform for us. Or jumpy platform, jumpy box. So used to playing other games, it's ridiculous. And there we go. More gems. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. And we're at 56, so we only need 40 more. Which is actually quite a few if you think about it. For a second I thought that was a checkpoint. Ooh, that was a lot of boxes just right there alone. Oh, yay, more. There we go. Oh, hello, Mr. Arabian dude. Not really an Arabian Knight, so I can't call you an Arabian Knight. Get out of here, you monkey man. Monkey man Randy Savage. And that's all the boxes. So there we go. We can't get the gold gem here yet because we need another gem, or a secret pathway, pardon me. But we can get close to 100%, which is super useful. There we go. Regular crystal and or regular crystal crystal and regular gem. Not too bad. Now we can do level eight, which is hog ride, which is a motorcycle level, which sucks honestly. I hate this place. And there we go. And there's only thirteen boxes. So you want to try and get all the boxes and first place at the same time, otherwise you're going to have to do it twice regardless, and it, that can just be annoying. I kind of don't want to grab that just because it throws off your maneuverability. Also, there's stationary police cars. Yay, that's cool, I guess. Now, pardon me, Mr. Roadhog there. Wow, that only leaves three more after that. Which leaves two more after that, or one more after that, never mind. Oh, there's the last one, so we got the gem regardless of if we win or not. And you do have to be coming first place to get the gem. Did you just push me onto the dirt? I don't appreciate that very much, game. Alright, hopefully this gives me enough momentum to skyrocket over top of them, and... End up first place, nice. Easy, quick level. Oh my god, I don't think I've ever seen a level go by that quickly. That was that was just beautiful. That was flawless. Alright, this gem and crystal are ours. There we go. Nice. Alright, on to level 9. We got Tomb Time. Which I don't think we can 100% either, because I think it requires a different color gem. Purple, I think? Good day, mate. Dingle Dial's the name, and Uka Uka and Cortex gave me orders to bring the crystal to them during the Ice Ages. So give me the goods and shove off, or I'll roast you. Apparently that white flicker happens. Yeah, purple gem. 
Which I believe opens up an entire pathway. I don't know if you can actually get all the gems here, or all the boxes here. There are some that you actually do need both gems to get everything. I really do like these levels though. These are some of my favorite levels. I think I just like the uh, variety of levels that Crash 3 had over other ones, even though people prefer Crash 2 over 1 and 3. But I don't know, I, I, I like it. Also, there's like oil traps on the floor here that'll make you slide, so be careful. I don't know why I didn't step on that, I kind of went side or beside it. If you step on the ones that say Neo, they're safe. If you step on the Scarab ones, they'll fall like that. And we have a bonus platform already. Literally right after the first checkpoint. Nice. Alrighty here, let's see what we got going on. Lots of TNT this time. Oh, and these ones, okay. Not really much of a challenge, honestly. And there's another three, and another three. This level's all in threes. Alright, and then crouch, jump up there, get this life. Nice, and then we can just grab these two. And done. Super easy bonus game. How many boxes do we have now? 40, so we need 55 more. Eh, that's not too bad. Alright, and this will activate this platform, which then we can ride over here. Oh yeah, then there's these monkeys. Uh, fun fact about the monkeys, after you knock them out of their jars, if you actually step on them, they'll drop one fruit. They won't really do anything more. So don't, don't bother just sitting there forever with them. You can also trigger the blocks to drop too if you hit the switch yourself. Ah, super easy to avoid. Oh yeah, these platforms. Or, these platforms, these doors. So just wait for them yourself, and then do that. Yeah, so you... I believe you can actually make that if you do the long jump. But yeah, so you need the purple gem. So do that just in case we can actually get all the boxes. I don't remember if you can. Like I said, some of them you're not going to be able to. Also, I don't know why like it would have a timed platform considering it only opens up the bridge and the the rideable platform like that one. See, like, this one I get, because this one moves back and forth, right? That other one doesn't disappear, so there's really no challenge. How many more do we need? We only need 35 more anyway, so maybe we'll get them all here? I don't know. How many lives do we have? We have 31, that's not bad. Thought we had more, honestly. Oh yeah, there's boxes up there. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. I overshot that one entire- oh. I guess I wasn't as far back as I thought I was. Oh, come on, man. Oh yeah, this is like the end of the level, pretty much. At least we still have- oh yeah, we definitely can't get 100% here. That sucks. Holy cow, man. Uh, like, I should have just bum-rushed this one. Could have wasted a lot less time if it wasn't for that, but, eh, whatever. Sadly, first level that we didn't get the regular clear gem on. It happens. But there we go. That was level 9, right? Yeah, that was level 9. So now we have level 10, which is Midnight Run, which is another Coco level. Nice. All right. And totals, we have only 35 in this one, so this one's a lot less. Perfectly fine with, but, you know. I remember this one being a little more tricky, though. Not necessarily hard, just tricky. Oh, I thought I took damage there, but no, I didn't. I avoided that somehow. How many do we have now? We have 12. We're almost, we're like a third of the way done. We're actually more than a third of the way done. Not too shabby. Oh, we gotta go up here. Oh yeah, and then you wanna... I said you wanna jump there, but nope. For whatever reason, we got our jump stunted by the ceiling. Yeah, let's do this. Oh, that was beautiful.
Oh, we jumped over that one? Really? Like I said, it's tricky. It's not hard. It's tricky. Difference between tricky and hard, you know? I believe that's like the only tricky part of this entire level is right there. And for some reason, undershot at that time. First time, we just completely missed because it hit the ceiling. Second time, we overshot it, and then that time we undershot it. Like, like how much speed do I need, man? Mmm. I see how this is gonna go. This video is going super well. No deaths, no failures, no anything like that, and then boom. I love how, like, all my deaths, too, haven't even been... Are you serious? Haven't even been on, per like, on accident or because, like, the game screwed me over. No, it's just me being dumb and having to die to get stuff that we miss. Oh, you weren't even supposed to do a dash. You were just supposed to hold it down. I'm an idiot. At least we only need 15 more boxes. Oh, I almost got hit there. Oh, yeah, now the dragons are going to start doing different patterns and stuff, so you got to be careful there. Pardon me, Mr. Dragons. Oh. Yeah. Nice, we only need four more. Mr. Water Bucket Carrier, can you please get off this dangerous road? Like, why are you guys running around here anyway? See, are they even villains, or are they just, like, innocent dudes running around? And after this, we can actually take on the boss, which is pretty cool. And that's probably where we're going to end the episode. We'll probably do one world per episode if we can. And there we go. Another level done. Oh yeah, you have to wait for them to pull out everything, and then you can skip that. So anyways, let's take on Dingo Dial, one of the coolest bosses. Right, now you've gone and done it. Them crystals are mine. They actually removed a lot of his dialogue, but to actually hear it, they didn't really <laughs> remove it. It's just... Break out the butter. I'm gonna make toast. You just gotta do it in a different spot. Yeah, so what you gotta do with this guy is he's gonna use a... Well, first of all, he's gonna shoot little fireballs up into the air. But then he's gonna, like, launch his flamethrower at you, and he's gonna destroy the crystals around him. And then once he destroys enough of them, you can kind of sneak your way in and damage them. Like this. And then get out before he explodes, and then he'll get damaged. Oi! Oi! And then he'll do the same thing again, except this time he'll speed it up. You can just kind of cheese it by doing, like, the slide jump. Which you can do a, a lot of cheesing with this ability in this game, honestly. And there we go. One more hit and he's down. Alright, Dingo Dial. Bring it, buddy. Which way are you going to go? Man, I remember him being actually a lot more difficult as a kid, simply because, like, that attack right there, he was a lot worse with. And there we go, he's dead. Ah, you thrashed me, mate. No worries. You'll soon be up against much worse. Alright, let's jump on him, buddy. Yahoo! Yeah. Ah, we got double jump. Nice. Woohoo! Double jump. Double jump. Let's go into the vortex. You know. Alrighty. If you guys enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, join the Discord and Patreon link below. In the next episode, we'll be taking on the third hub world, which looks to be Asian. Bye bye.